Hey guys, it's Sam here from How to FAQ and today I'm going to share with you some quick tips and tricks to get back into your phone when you're locked out. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 5. I'm going to show you how you can reset the password on it if you've forgotten it. So let's set a password. I'm going to do one, two, three, and there's the password. And let's say I don't know what the password is. I'm going to show you a quick trick to show you how you can unlock it if you don't know what the password is. Something that a lot of people would do is they'd factory reset their phone. So let me show you how you can do that. First of all, you press the power button on the side and you press the volume up key and the home button and you just press and hold them all together. You can look it up online, it's regularly available to work out how you can do it. It's basically booting into the Android recovery. Then this screen will come up and you'll be able to see it says here it's Android system recovery. And all you have to do is you just have to go down to where it says wipe slash factory reset and click it. Once you finish factory resetting it, just select the reboot system now and then click the power button to select. Now it's finished rebooting, you can see that the password is no longer there. The main problem with this is that you lose all your data. Let me show you a way which doesn't require you to lose any data, but is slightly more technical. To do this next step, you'll need an ADB bridge. If you don't already know how to set up an ADB bridge or don't have your own ADB bridge already, I made a video explaining just how to make one in under 5 minutes. There'll be a link in the description. When you have your ADB bridge all set up, go to your Android SDK, Platform Tools, and here just do Control Shift and right click. See where it says Open Command Window here, click that, and there you go, you have your ADB bridge set up. Now type in ADB Devices. As you can see there's no devices. Now connect the phone in question. I must warn you this does require USB debugging to be enabled. First type ADB shell. That initializes the connection with the phone. And now we're going to type rm forward slash data forward slash system forward slash password key and now we're going to click enter once that's done click on your phone and you'll notice your password is not there but let's say you have a different type of password enabled let's say you have a fingerprint password enabled how would you do that well let's set one up I'm just going to quickly set up a fingerprint password now we have a fingerprint password enabled and let me show you a hack you can use on the ADB bridge again. So you've got the ADB shell set up and you've got a connection. What you're going to do is you're going to go cd forward slash data forward slash system and now you're in the data system directory and type ls and we can see all the files. We want to delete the gesture key and the lock setting passwords here. We also want to delete the password key. Right let's delete these passwords so first of all we're going to do rm gesture key dot key you remember then we're going to do password key and then we're going to attempt to delete the other ones lock settings dot db that's dash m h Delete that one, and now we'll delete the wild one as well. You'll notice the password is still there. That's because for this one, you have to restart the phone. So just click restart. Now your phone has restarted. You'll be able to see that you can easily open the phone again. It's as simple as that. So I want to thank you for watching. I hope this video really helped you, and I hope you managed to solve your problem. If you didn't, feel free to comment below what your problem is, and maybe I'll be able to make a video on that too. Thanks for watching guys, it's How To Have A Q here, see you in the next video, goodbye.